Hey, Nish here and FJ Bottle sent me these three bottles to take a look at and today I'm going to be running through them and telling you which, if any, are worth your money. I'm just going to hold one because it's a lot easier and I'm first going to talk about some commonalities between these bottles. They're all made of stainless steel and have a vacuum insulated design and construction. This means that there's a gap of like vacuum between the layers and what you've got inside and they rate this for 12 hours and keep things hot and 24 hours and keep them cool. The two smaller bottles are powder coated on the outside while the larger bottle it's got a naked metallic look going to it. One nice accessory that they include with all the bottles is a nice collapsible bottle brush which is handy to keep them clean and not gross. They've also got some kind of strap or carabiner to easily attach the bottle to something. The smaller and the larger ones I've got here come with an extra accessory which is a insulating sleeve and there's also a shoulder strap which you can attach to that sleeve and this would let you carry these bottles without needing to have a bag which could be potentially useful. Let's dig into the details and first look at the SFG which I've got in 600ml. It does of course come in different sizes. The main feature this has got is this one button uh, cap that opens up like that. Uh, it's designed to use with one hand, so very good for active kind of sports use. You can lock that cap in place by moving the switch up so that it doesn't you know, leak everywhere, because obviously it's quite a quick release uh, thing. As you open the cap, you've got a simple spout, which works pretty well. And then you know it's quite easy to open and it's got a nice wide opening that you can fill up. From here, we move on to the LKG, which I've got in the 800 milliliter version here. Now the cap on this is slightly different. You need two hands to open it. You have to unscrew and then the cap moves on a hinge and there's a magnet to keep it in place. So while you're drinking, it doesn't go everywhere. Now the spout on this, you know, this is a bit of a nitpick. It's a weird thing to say, but the spout on this is vastly inferior to the one on the SF on the SFG. And there's a few reasons I've realized. One is the spout is smaller, so it's got a smaller size. The other thing is they've not put an air hole in this one. And you know, you need an air hole to let the air enter as water is leaving. And the, the SFG does have this, but the L, these names are really difficult. The LKG doesn't have that. So it's just not quite as good a drinking experience overall. The rest is pretty similar. Again, it has a pretty wide opening and very easy to fill. Moving on to the larger FJKL. Now this is a slightly different design. Obviously you've got the metallics, you've not got a powder coating and you've got a very noisy carabiner as well. It's just a normal screw cap. So there's two caps included. One of them is plastic and it has two rubber seals, which means it's extra leak proof. And there's also a metallic one to kind of match the aesthetic, but that doesn't have the carabiner and it only has one seal. One thing I liked about this bottle is included is an extra couple rubber seals. So this is a part of the product which could you know, wear out over time and it's nice that they included that to give it a bit more longevity. Aside from that, there's not much to say. It's a bottle, it's pretty large. I mean, it seems to me that this is more than a liter. I think maybe the vacuum layer in this is larger than in the other bottles because you know, I go from this to this and it looks, you know, we're going from 600 mil to one liter and it just seems like the volume is increasing much more than that 400 milliliters. So it, it does seem quite cumbersome, but it could be useful if you're very thirsty. My general thoughts on these bottles will out of these, I like the SFG. That is that is the one that I've been using. I've used all of these, and this is the one I found you know useful in daily use and taking to the gym. I like the flip cap. It's quite fun to fiddle with, probably annoying for people near you if I'm sitting here doing this all day. The water flows out well, unlike the LKG, which I've not even shown. Unlike the LKG where the spout was just terrible. The, the spout on this is very good. It's a water bottle at the end of the day. There's not much more to say than I can get the water in me. One thing I'd say is these bottles, you know, they're not going to be good for running or cycling where you need to quickly take a swig because, you know, you've not got a squeeze design. You've not got the ability to get a jet of water. And at the end of the day, the use case I see for these is a commuting kind of bottle. You put it on the side of your backpack or, or taking to the gym. And finally, like the FJKL, it's, it's you know, it's well made. It's got, it's made of the same materials. I don't really see what the use for this is. And in general, I'd say while all of these bottles, you can put hot things in them and they're rated for 12 hours of heat, it doesn't really seem like the the ideal use case. I mean, usually with thermoses that are made of this material, you have a cup that's attached to it because these things are gonna keep liquids very hot. Like you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna to want to pour boiling water out of that spout directly into your mouth. You're gonna want another cup. And it just doesn't seem like the right design for that. So overall, some good bottles. Personally, I think the SFG is much better than the LKG. This is basically inferior in every way to this one because they all come in all the different sizes, 400, 600, 800, and, and liter. When it comes to price, now these all range in price between, uh, say, 15, 16, 17, 18 euros. Now it's not a fantastic price. I mean, 
you know, I, I compare this to like, I go into a shop like Decathlon, they have a lot of water bottles there. And I think it's very similar to what you're gonna get there. So I'd say this is neither an incredible or terrible value proposition. It's somewhere in between. Hopefully this video has given you a good run through of the different features and comparison points on these bottles. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, do subscribe. Thanks again to FJ Bottle for sending them over. And well, uh, not much more to say. It's been a while since I made a video. I'm kind of in a place where I'm focusing more on, on music. If you wanna check out what I'm up to there, there's a, there's a music channel that I've got going. Hopefully I'll have some more videos coming your way, but be patient, I suppose. Thanks very much for watching. Hope it's been useful. Leave any comments or questions that you have lingering and I'll catch you in the next one.